My name is Teresa, I'm 44 years old. I'm from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and I'm addicted to smelling gasoline. When I wake up in the morning, oh, uh, the first thing I do is I roll over, sit up, and smell my gas bottle. Then I'll get up, take another sniff of the gasoline, the and then I'll come downstairs, oh, and a couple minutes later, I'll take another sniff of it. How did she drink it? Teresa has been addicted to smelling goes. gasoline for over 30 years. She takes a sniff every 10 minutes, and even wakes up in the middle of the night for a fix. Did you just say, did he, did he say over 30 years? <laughs> I see. I don't even know how to. It I see it, it took its toll. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so horrible. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> over 30 years. <laughs> oh. Clearly damaging her brain. Not just her brain. <laughs> She's like addicted, bro. Explain how it smells. Oh, I just love the smell okay. of it. How it makes my nose feel inside the back of my throat. <sighs> Teresa was only 13 years old when her dad asked if she wanted to smell his gas can. I smelled it that one time and that was all it took. Seriously? I mean, I smelt it and I was like, oh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, not just me. Every normal person, I'm sure of it. Now she stashes four water bottles filled with gasoline throughout the house for each. So she said. Sorry, I keep interrupting. Um. 14? I think. So 30 years. So 44. Imagine looking like that when you're 44. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Must be gasoline or petrol or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Easy access. No matter where I'm at, I have a bottle with me. I keep it either in my purse or in my jacket pocket. When I eat, it's sitting right there at the kitchen table in case I get that urge. Um. Dude, if I didn't know any better and I saw this bitch on the street pulling out this bottle and just sniffing it, I think it's fucking piss. Whew. Wait a minute. That might make me feel better. Surely it's apple juice. She's just fucking with us. She's like, yeah, it's gasoline. <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> I walk in the door, the first thing that hits me is the smell of- Wait, she has a boyfriend. What the fuck? I have no boyfriend for like six years now. This bitch has a bo- Gas. It smells like you're walking into a garage. And now we're smelling gas while you're cooking. And your point is, you don't you're like it, go her. upstairs. When Teresa doesn't have gasoline, watch out. Um, she does get very angry. Yeah, what I do wouldn't. you think it's doing to your health? What do you I, think I, it's I, going to your brain? Or? I don't know. I can't answer that. But I'm not going to sit here and have you throw it in my face when, you know... You, no, throwing I, it in your I, face. I, I I'm quit. just saying, you've been saying I'm... that for years, but you're still smelling gas. Did you say I can quit? <laughs> Bitch, you're fucking far... F <laughs> you, you're deluded. You cannot quit, honey, bunny. Teresa doesn't work and is supported by her boyfriend. She That's what addicts say. I can quit any time. No problem, anytime. She spends almost $400 a month on her addiction. Me and Frank fight over it. You know, take the last couple dollars we have just to go get the gasoline can filled because I have to have my gasoline to sniff. I come to the gas station about twice a week. The more I go to the gas station, the fresher the gas is. I've heard oh, she has a daughter. She has an offspring that looks like her. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer, fucking run, Jennifer. <laughs> Heard her talk about situations where she chose the gas over buying food or something like that. She just needs her fix. I'm pet. <laughs> um, bitch, there's like starving children in Africa, and this cunt spends her fucking money on gasoline over eating food. Can someone look her up? 
I've had memory loss since about 1995. Because of my memory loss, I have to use, um... Darn. Stop that in indication! <laughs> Stop. I have to use You're little psycho. notes and leave them tacked up on my steering wheel of my car, even outside of my purse sometimes. The past six years, I have had oh, what's this major say? stomach <laughs> problems. I've had anemia problems. To think about the gasoline could be killing her, it, it just makes me just want to curl up in a ball and cry somewhere because I can't get through to her. Nobody can get through to her. I never really thought about going a day without it. I don't know if I could or not. I'm ashamed of it. That's why you seek help. I'm so sad that thinking about that she could die. Well, I don't know. What about doing something about it? Well, she doesn't want anything done about it. There's a thing called stray jacket. Put her in one of those. She can't. She can't do anything. Also, chain her up so she can't. <laughs> don't listen to me. Yeah. She just needs to know that she's very loved. She needs to stop. <laughs> I think she's doing it because she's not loved. So, my understanding is that there are lots of people who are worried about you and your health. And why would that be? I've been sniffing gas, gasoline for about 30 years now. For 30 years? 30 years. Every day? Every day. I've been having a lot of short-term memory loss. It started getting bad about 1995. I was getting lost when I drive. Uh, I'd misplace things. I'd let food cook on the oven. You know, s just stupid stuff like that. You need to know from at least a medical standpoint that this is a very destructive thing. Gasoline destroys the covering to nerves and prevents the nerves from sending signals. Then not only do your organs attached to the nerves not work normally, but muscles also don't work normally. Okay. So it breaks down tissue just like a person is actually being burned by fire. And that's pretty much what's happening to you when you're sniffing gasoline. Wow. When you're sniffing the gas, it's not- Wow, I don't know, I could've Googled it. I, it was simple science, but uh, I didn't. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Took that up as a hobby. <laughs> Seemed ha harmless enough. <laughs> just you know, in your nose and in your throat. It goes through the tissue and eventually into the blood. You didn't know that? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Every time you're doing that, you're damaging every organ. Every single one. When the doctor said that it was affecting my whole body, I just couldn't believe it was doing that. So it was very o overwhelming to hear him say that. My guess is... Did you look in the mirror? I'm still on about that. I'm so sorry. This is that your organs, including your nervous system, That's are much more damaged than they should be for someone your age. Teresa won't live another 30 years of gas sniffing. Every time that she's sniffing, she might overdo it and then die. It's Russian roulette every time. When people have lots of exposure to gasoline, it can cause damage to the nerves that are furthest away from the center part of the body. Mm -hmm. And one way we can find out if the nerve is working normally or if it's still intact, we can do a test which is called the EMG, which stands for electromyogram. So we're going to be sending a small shock through, and the goal of the shock is to, um, to tell us how long it's going to be before the information gets back. And we have standards that we can compare your nerves with those other standards and find out is there damage to the outsides of the nerves. The shock itself is going to be no different than the shock that, that people get when they touch a, a doorknob. Or Damn, she white. Five. Okay, so let's go there. Okay, so here's a little zing. Ready? Look how she is. Okay, a little bit more. You doing okay over there? Mm-hmm. Okay, here comes the next shock. Okay, good. This nerve we're having trouble even finding. So here's the next pinch. One last one. Okay, well, that's a surprising response. Good? That's a good, surprising response. 
The test shows that your nerve looks okay. Well, this is a great sense of relief for you, mm, I can imagine. <laughs> um, and at the same time, it's still doing damage. Right. She's been tremendously lucky. 30 years of sniffing and somehow her body's held up. But she's not gonna stay lucky after 30 more years. Told you, it's apple juice. So this is a break point. Every single post-it that you put up is another reminder that this is Getting worse. an area of damage. So do you see a time that you're gonna stop? No, this is not gonna happen overnight. Um, I know it's gonna be a process to do and it's gonna be a long recovery. Just knowing the results of the test that you just did, I know there's hope left. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. I think you're gonna do great. All this information was very overwhelming for me, but it did give me a light at the end of the tunnel, and that's all I needed. When I get home, I'm gonna try and not even use the rest of that bottle tonight. I'm gonna to look at myself day by day. That's all I can do right now. Well, goddamn, <laughs> her memory keeps getting worse. I don't know. It might not be the apple juice. I'm My name is Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Okay, how does that even happen? <laughs> how do you just like chew on a mattress and you're like, oh, this is good. <laughs> I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. There's like a hard texture. Like, wait, others, other people do that, and they put condiments on it. What? Is that like a Facebook group for people? <laughs> my taste buds are though, you know, kind of like like a guitar. When I found out that Jennifer eat mattresses, I was just. Bum found it. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. Fuck a spat everywhere. I was like, oh, bitch is crazy. Mom, <laughs> I share the same genes. Am I gonna <laughs> be crazy? What was that? Fly, was that necessary? Eight matches. I make sure, like, when my mom's not gonna be in her room, or I could be in her room. So, like, let's say when she get in the shower, um, tiptoeing in here to get it. What reason? Imagine you like. Imagine you get home after a hard day at work, you lay in your bed and you're like, oh, what the fucking mattress? <laughs> your daughter ate it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We need to go and st extinct like the dinosaurs. Honestly, let's just stop here. I think this is the limit. The so why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. I can see where they're all going. They're not digesting that. real well over here. <laughs> Yes, I'm calling her fat. What are you gonna do? Off with the good stuff. The good stuff to me is the pillow top itself. Then I go down to this part. I cut it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. I'm done with the mattress. <laughs> when it smells funny, or if I get down to where it's just springs. I usually, when I crave to eat some mattress, it usually be after two o'clock after I eat. I, I'm urged. I need to urge. I gotta have it. Gotta have it. For some reason. Why can't you just start in there? Oh, I gotta, I gotta eat this mattress. <laughs> Shove like a carrot in in your mouth. After sex, I will want some. <laughs> the side effects of. Play that shit again. <laughs> 
Breezy. After sex, I would want some. <laughs> This bitch gets some. This bitch gets some. I officially. I. What? The side effects of eating mattresses is gas is really the only one you have. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through my my system and goes out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about her health and like her digestive system. Cause I have seen it in the toilet. It comes out in whole whole pieces. It was all the sludge that I was eating. I was like, it clogged up the toilet. Like it's just sitting there. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it do everything I did to it, and I could use it again if I wanted, if I was that desperate. It ain't that, I mean, ain't that strange. But you're pretty fucking strange regardless. That'd be a cherry on top, wouldn't it? Recycle your mattress. I was sitting in the back seat and it was like sponge down there. And I just picked it and took it and was like, just chew it on him. Bro, I used to fucking suck on batteries. Don't ask. Um, you don't see me fucking having battery as a lollipop for every, after every dinner as dessert. I've eaten couches, box springs, chairs, but for the last 10 years, mattresses has just been my thing. It's embarrassing. I couldn't just come out and be like, yo, I eat mattresses. Can't do that. It's not even wrong. That's why she gets some. She doesn't say anything about that. Family knows. But after sex, after a good fucking. She's like, ah, fuck, I grab some mattress. Like, pulls it up just under her bed, you know. Ah, got some. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't think she has any trouble. With I fear that my kids. sister could die from this. The mattress goes down my throat. Sometimes it gets stuck. Like, I could choke and I could die. God forbid that something will happen to her because I will feel at fault for that. OK, Why? it's bad for me. Are you making but her do it? I was it? eating when I was no. a kid, and now I'm an adult. I'm still eating it, and I'm still here. Jennifer eating my mattress is getting way out of hand. We don't know what this mattress is doing to her. Me and my son just need to confront her today and ask her why is she doing it. This bitch did stop eating my mattress. I keep have to. I keep needing to buy one. <laughs> it needs to stop. They're expensive. They're also like really old school mattresses. So oh. when you eat it, but are you afraid of choking? No. She really bounced on there, <laughs> huh? Is that why you be like <sighs> all the time? Yeah, when I be like, <sighs> it shoot out of my throat like a cannon. I mean, I've been eating for twenty years. Ain't nothing happened. I didn't know you had been doing it for 20 years. Blech. Wow. And you don't think this hurting you? You don't worry about the chemicals that's in the match? No, match I don't. She's like saying it's full of chemicals. How do you know? What mattress is made of? No, right. but I'm, okay. I'm not here to attack you. Feel this mattress. I'm just concerned. <laughs> and I, I don't want anything to happen to you. So if we go see a doctor, right? and they tell you that it's bad for you, are you going to stop? And once you're addicted to something, it's hard to stop. I hope you try to not do it. Oh, please. Is, is it the point where therapy? I don't care? It's, it's not who cares, because we, we obviously care about you. OK. I ain't, I ain't finna throw a, have a fight because you found out I eat mattress. Oh, well. Yeah, I got to go.
If it's not what she wants to hear, she just gets up and usually leaves. We can lead her to the right way, but we can't make her choose the right path. She has to do that herself. I'm going to the doctor today. How old get is she? Because my mom and my brother was very concerned about. Because if she is young enough as a mother, you can literally fucking grab her and go, you're not doing it. Bring her to the doctor. But obviously, I think she's driving, so she's like old enough. So. What the mattress is doing mother, to me when I uh, assume it? I hate going to the doctor. Since you've been eating mattress for 20 years, I hope you don't tell me that this has been slowly killing you. It is. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. It's no good news here, honey. So how often do you eat mattress foam? I consume it every day. And like one sitting, like I would eat like about this thick. So, okay. and then it'd be like kind of big like that. Really, only symptoms that I think is connected Crazy to me. I may bitch. be a little gassy, but then again, like I'm having sulfur burps. Sulfur burps. Okay. Yeah, like a fart in my mouth. Okay, I'm very concerned about the foam. Mattress foam because is not particularly digestible. Don't fart normally. Yeah. Mattress Some of them may be forming a partial blockages in your small intestine, so that food is not getting down effectively and it's fermenting and the gas is coming back up. Wow, I never knew that. Well, I am no doctor and I literally just thought of it. I don't know, maybe you should think for her once. That was harsh. Because it's indigestible, it could cause a blockage and a number of potentially deadly problems. How she's managed to do okay so far is is a surprise. All right, well, the x-ray shows no definite obstruction, but it's hard for me to see what's called your stomach bubble. All right. Okay? Sort of that suggests that maybe your stomach was full, uh -huh. and maybe it was full of mattress. foam mattress. Yeah. You know, the problem you face is you're going to have a hole in your intestine or a complete bowel obstruction, and it's going to be an emergency. Oh, and emergency me means you could die. Wow. OK. A little fear in my heart there. It just got serious. You can change this. I am going to change this. <laughs> I am going to change this. How their family tell them that's not normal, don't do it. <laughs> Doctor says, You're gonna fucking die, probably, bitch. Oh, oh I gotta do something about it. Common sense. She hopes to quit for good soon. It sounds like it's, I don't know, just smoking. No. <laughs> smoking is not the biggest concern anymore. 